welcome to DFI3. We're here well, in the three. club bits in Star Street. Make some fucking. <laughs> Fucking oh, ill inter county battle again yeah, today. Yeah, inter county, that's what I'm about today, yeah. On my right hand side, we've got from Dublin, Rob Stainson. Woo! 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 And on the left hand side, we have once again representing the Rebel County, Nash from Cork. <laughs> Oh, he's about to get his clock out for the lads. <laughs> 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 I couldn't have went down a totally different way. Place of air, what have you got that? Yeah. No, I'm on camera. Yeah, Jack. Pairs race. Alright, it's on stage, and so, uh, first Respect Keep it down, boys. Yeah, one minute, man. Go for it. This bloke is such a fucking wanker. We should be calling him Paul fucking Williams. I'm surprised he didn't bottle this battle and call himself Diligence. Oh. Oh. Yes. If there was anybody in here, they tell you Rob is sick as shit. I'm surprised. Uh, this bloke just pretends he's sick. We should be calling him Diligence. Look, <laughs> 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 right. lads, I just came here for the crack, not to fucking embarrass him. But lads. That's just from Cork. How fucking embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Coachies are famous for being inbred and fucking riding goats. And that shit will try them both. Plus, he looks like a pikey after 60 lines of coke. <laughs> he spends his time practicing river dance, lies on beds with a dick in hand. And that haircut looks like you were attacked by a drunken Edward Scissorhand. <laughs> <laughs> see, at the last battle, Nash told me I was class, so fuck her, I reckon he's harmless. But when I told him to fuck off, I thought he was trying to sell me a carpet. <laughs> So if you're at a gig with Nash, don't let him get too close to you. He didn't battle last time, he just came down to rub some clothes from Krill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just had me battling an amateur, you're bleeding serious, them red cheeks look like you were licking your board's gay on a period. <laughs> He won his first battle and I lost mine, so he probably thinks his chances are better. But I was battling nuisance, and you were battling the worst rapper ever. <laughs> <laughs> but to battle me now, you must be off your game. You look like a mixture of Tony Hawk and Gwen. <laughs> and by the way, next time you shave, you should stand about an inch or two closer to the blade. <laughs> you bum fluffy, cum sucking, drink slush puppy, skull fucking male fuck buddies, you're a dumb rookie. Fuck you. It's not a word that you'll win. You look like a fiend that just spent a week in an opium den. And all that bullshit you roll with a pen sounds like a fucking freestyle they kick off the dome when I'm ten. You're a bloke with no ends, you're a dope with no friends, you're a joke with no punchline at the end. Oh. No one will cry when you're dead and you lied when you said you were nice off the head. Fuck you. You talk about my mam and I'll puck you, but I'll talk about yours and your bjork because she's a slut too. I talk about your whole family and what the fuck you gonna do? I can't wait for round two. Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was bleeding shit. <laughs> if Jesus Christ was here, he'd be like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so this, see, this fella's so soft, he's a toy bit idiot too. Tell his mates he's too busy to build. His board says he can't fuck because our period's due. And he's like, it's okay, baby, I just want to stay in and watch Sex in the City with you. <laughs> Acting like he's a tough deal that does what the talks do, yet he rings up his mouth like, Good night, baby, I love you. <laughs> Don't get too excited, I'm just fucking with your headshot. He's such a fucking thief, he should have been judging Nugget versus Redza. Oh! <laughs> you can, you can talk in your tracks about all your hardest shit. The hardest thing this bloke's ever had to deal with is the hardest dick. Up your rash, your prick, he's always bone and bony. Then he takes it in the mouth and bony's bone gets bony. Guess how me, guess how I'd have someone decent this time, this time lads, look at. Guess how me battling a strong L version of Beaker from the Muppets. <laughs> I'll drag this Muppet back to Cork and I'll stick him in the River Lee. Twisted in the morning, which means I'm literally a sick MC. Woo! <laughs> Second verse on 
Nash this whenever you're ready, man. Right, you. About three or four days after they saw this fella battling, I was getting calls on private number, didn't bother answering. <laughs> then I guess a text, Nash, this is Rob Stinson, call me. It was like, who? Phone him up to ask him what's the story. He was asking, could he do a track or two with me and Boney? I started <laughs> laughing and hung up the phone, go away, you fucking go me. <laughs> Come in your CD if I was having a wank And your bure was on the cover dressed like a skank See I was fingering her when I wrote this rhyme And she's not even that nice I just like having her pussy by my side when I'm writing my rhymes Because it keeps my lyrics tight <laughs> Like her pussy <laughs> You must be ashamed of your height And your not so good raps He's so small he can play handball with foot pats <laughs> 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 Sing, the rapping tattoo artist, only halfway through the battle and I guarantee you're mad you started. Cause your raps are garbage and I'm lethal with rhymes. A tattoo artist with the worst tattoos I've ever seen in my life. They're actually shit. And he's the one who gave Nui's Bjord a tattoo with national tit. <laughs> Anybody in here can understand him, so why does he MC? Yeah, I rang you to do a track, but man, I thought you were GMC. <laughs> <laughs> this fella's so inbred, I'd say your sister's your mother. And then it gets twisted, because that same sister's his cousin. And his sister, I'm fucking, I'll probably come on a tail. But I can't give you a stick of belly, you're probably fucking a tail. Yeah. See, they have nothing to deal with, except he riding each other. He has a dark coming up, he's like hiding in the cupboard. So he can take a park and help his outlet. This fella's the sickest freak. And he's a motherfucker too. I mean that literally. <laughs> so where I'm from, he got the clothes to try fucking some beaver. Where he's from, he got to the woods to try fucking a beaver. <laughs> Back when I was a kid, I just wanted to fucking load of chicks to come and blow me dick and then get stoned as shit and spit roast the bitch. This bloke so sick, he just wanted to be Joseph Fritz. <laughs> he's acting all hard, acting like this lad slangs when his family reunions and he only told me gang bangs. <laughs> <laughs> Piercings, their clothes and tattoos, that's his type of fashion. A load of depressing tunes to tell her the truth your rings are lacking. To be honest, you're a fucking disgrace to Irish rapping. He got the swagger of Brian Cohen and the street cred of Michael Jackson. Cause you look like a paedophile. You sound like a geriatric, happy, spastic, wrapped in plastic after cracking ease and lines. He don't be smoking weed with boys and spitting lethal rhymes. He sips away on tea or wine and reads the people's times. <laughs> and does a lot of similar gay shit. You be spitting some gay shit, literally, when you're licking the anus. <laughs> Ripping up pages when you're writing your rhymes Because you get frustrated that they're not as good as mine I'd rob you for your shine, but you don't have any I'll box you in your ties till you just can't stand me oh. And I've seen all your exes too, they're mad manky I'd say you take a black granny down a back alley And fuck her in her fat fanny <laughs> Fuck her greasy, sweaty, hairy, period pussy All over your face and shit Stick your finger up her shitty ass while she takes the dick You make me sick, you need to get a fucking life And battling Nash as I come into a gunfight with a butter knife so at the end of your miserable fucking life when you settle down with your ugly wife, just remember Nash murdering you with some rugged rhymes. Well, we have to give that one to Nash because that was just brutal. It's been a hard. A great battle. It's an impressive season, but this time I've got to give it to Nash. You won all three games. All right, Steve Dredd. Uh, Rob came really strong in the first round, but Nash came even stronger then. Uh, he just kept on going then, as far as I'm concerned. I think Nash took it in all three, although Rob was very good. So, fair play to both lads, but Nash. <laughs> Oh, was the crack nifty skills, uh, twitter.com slash nifty skills. Just had Rob Steeds and then Nash. Very close first round, I think it was even, but say Nash took the other two. Nash. Alright, counter culture back representing Irish Underground Radio. We said Rob Steenson, Nash. Rob Steenson's definitely nice with the lyrics. Uh, but when it comes to battling, Nash had it today, man. He just came strong all three rounds. Uh, so I'm giving it to Nash. Welcome back to DF43. Just Love watch Bob Steenson versus Nash. Make some noise for that. Come on! Sick, sick, And there has been a winner in three. And the winner is Nash. <laughs> Yeah, we got the boy comes.
Thank you, Shop. Thank you.